Good evening, everybody. Coach, you have questions? Well, congratulations on the victory. I guess, uh, what are the emotions after, you know, short notice fight, new weight division, going, going up, fighting a former title challenger? Where does this win compare come to your previous ones? I think not so much uh, difference between all other fights. It's like I'm happy to win. Uh, but it's important is that uh, I'm now ranked in two weight classes and I will have more options to fight. And uh, if somebody pull out next time, like always happened with me in 185, I can fight somebody in 205. That's a good feeling. In terms of the actual fight, it seems like right out of the gate you had a speed advantage in there. Uh, did you, were you aware of that right away that you could kind of take advantage of, you know, you were just faster than him? You no, know, you never know. He's a very good life, very, um, first of all, very good person. I, I knew him before. Um, and also he's very experienced. That's why I, I respect him, everything about him. But I was ready for anything what he can offer. And I didn't even thought when they offered me him, I just asked, please, just go him, ask him. If he's ready to fight, I will fly from Georgia. I don't care about jet lag, I don't care about nothing, and I will fight. In terms of, I know you didn't have a lot of time to game plan, but you said, yeah, I'm sure you've watched Anthony <coughs> fight before. Was there anything in there that maybe surprised you? Nothing. Nothing surprised me. I knew that he's a tough guy. And when he fell down after my punch, I, I wanted to uh, finish him. But I felt that, listen, it's short notice. I'm just losing too much energy. And I a little bit stopped because I didn't want to gas out. Uh, because uh, I thought that he's a tough guy and then probably it will go all three rounds. Physically, how different was it competing at light heavyweight compared to middleweight? <laughs> I think I'm a very strong guy. That's why I, had, I didn't have any physical problems in this fight. Uh, I know you, now that you are ranked in two divisions, you have options. You can compete in both and go up and down. Could you fight at 185 and go back to 205, or would you like to stay at one division because your body might kind of adjust to one? No, no, of course. Uh, you'll see first thing what they told me. Like, listen, we don't, don't want you to leave 185, and we are thinking about we want you to fight 205 or not said, listen, I will fight in two weight classes. Don't worry about it. And I think this is the option why they give me this fight, that I will fight in two weight classes. Uh, I guess you came out, seems like you, there was a little bit of a limp right there. But like, so physically, how are you feeling after that fight? I feel very good. I just, because I was low kicking him to his knee, I think that's why I have something in my leg. That's all. So really? You know, you, know, you I, I am not the guy who like to, uh, like, uh, cry about that he has injuries and stuff like that. But I had so much different injuries and I wasn't fighting. Like I have tore biceps. I, I didn't tell, nobody knew that I tore my chest before my last fight and I fought with tore chest and I, I was still feeling it. But that thing doesn't never stop me. And uh, because I know that I don't have much time to fight. And uh, not even everybody in my team, they. Get, said that Roman, you can't fight. But I think I just tell him, listen, just test me and then make me hit pads. And I hit pads uh, through pain and I still fight. So realistically, when could you fight again? <clears throat> realistically, when realistically UFC will give me next fight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.